Hola, ¿cómo están? Espero que estén muy bien. ¿Qué están haciendo? Ahora yo estoy creando este video. Luego voy a estar leyendo una antología y también voy a estar preparando un ensayo que tengo que escribir. have one week left we're almost done so the verbs i chose to use at the beginning of this video are because those are the tenses that you're going to be studying in the grammar portion of unit 10. so here is the pdf cheat sheet that you're going to find in the in the grammatica for unit 10 and it shows you how to speak in progressive present instead of saying i create i read what else did I say? I create, I read, and I prepare. Instead of saying, yo creo, yo leo, yo preparo. Instead of saying that, I'm saying, I am creating this video right now. That's what I said. And then I said, later, I will be reading. Later, I will be preparing. And so I did use preparar. I did use that verb. I also used the verb Leer. So we can see here how if a verb ends in AR, you drop the AR and you add ando. And that's going to be true whether the stem ends in a vowel or not. So later on, you'll see on the board that creando, the verb crear, you drop the AR and it's crea and then ando. So, and then verbs that end in ER and IR are the same you break it down into its stem and then you add yendo and then when the stem of a verb ends in a vowel like caer or leer you add yendo and again i have it written here on the board so these two verbs end in ar these two verbs, even if the stem ends in a vowel, you still add ando, creando, preparar, preparando. And then these two verbs end in er, but the difference between this is that the stem of leer ends in a vowel, so it would be leyendo, as opposed to a verb like comer, which ends in ER, but the stem does not end in the vowel. So it's comer, yo estoy comiendo. And then a verb that ends in IR, then when you break it down into its stem, it does not end in a vowel. It's going to end with yendo. But yes, as I said before, we are almost done. We have a week left. And then if you're not taking any more classes or any more classes in the summer, you can enjoy the rest of your summer. And if you're taking more classes, I wish you luck. Tomorrow by midnight, you should have another lingua meeting session done. You should have finished unit nine and the last pause, reflect and connect activity done as well. By Thursday, June 30th, a week from yesterday at midnight, all contraseña homework grades are due and I cannot provide an extension on this day. So please be sure to finish all contraseña activities by that date. All lingua meeting sessions must be completed by Friday, July 1st at midnight. Uh, your final oral presentations are due by that same date. So you have until Saturday at midnight to finish the final exam. And then you finish process. off this video talking about the instructions to the final oral presentation. So to find those instructions, you will go into learning modules. You'll scroll all the way down to the final module. And then these instructions are going to be right here. So I did just want to look over these really quickly. So remember, the final oral presentation is an audio visual video. Um, it does give you some suggestions here as far as what you can use. I use Wii video. I've used Canva before. Canva is pretty easy, pretty user friendly. Uh, Adobe is great as well. You can use Zoom. You really have so many options as far as how you want to make that video. And even if you're not a content creator, you know, you, you can do this. You know, I'm not a content creator. That's why y'all have noticed my videos 
aren't <laughs> amazing, but we still make it, we still make it work. So these are gonna be the questions that, so this breaks down slide by slide what you need to include in every single slide. So remember, these are the, this is on an exhaustive list of all the questions you were to ask your coach throughout this summer session, but it does include several of those questions. So look through these, and if you still don't have, if you still don't have some of these answers, if you have one lingual meeting session left, if some of you still have two lingual meeting sessions left, try to get the answers to these questions. And for example, a question like describe food that is typical or traditional in your coach's country you could that's something you could google don't spend time worrying about getting an answer to that question when you can get an answer to something like describe your coach's family what did you learn about your family about your coach's family structure so obviously those questions are going to be something that you need the input of your coach to answer okay great remember we have one week left and then we're done so vamonos